Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on LAHO. We will take a look at the daily time frame. I've done this one several times before in the past, so that is where these green and red line annotations are coming from. And things kind of, I mean, it's not like everybody lost total interest, but there's no doubt about it, people lost interest for a while. I mean, the volume dropped quite a bit of ways off. However, today you gotta give credit where credit's due. Volume came back in, not as much as it has in the past, but definitely well above the past three days. And more importantly, the price reacted very nicely with it. So now the question going forward, and I, I, let me take a step back. I should note that like none of this is some sort of great discovery on my part. So I'm not trying to come across like this is something that nobody else noticed. A lot of people noticed it. And I bring that up because when a lot of people are watching and taking note of the same exact thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can produce some pretty interesting price dynamics. And that's what we have here. Volume coming in, price reacting nicely. And overall, the you know the other bit of context here is that, again, to give credit where credit's due, you know, the price has done a great job of maintaining above that area of support right there at triple zero four. I mean, literally the, the past until today, four days in a row, the bears were banging on that door, trying to push the price down through triple zero four. But, uh, you know, the bulls did a great job of holding strong. And in, in, in fact, today got the bounce upwards. I mean, there's still work to be done, uh, but the price is now headed back up in the, you know, the, the right direction there. What do I mean by work to be done? Well, the next bit of work that needs to be done is right here in regards to this red line here, triple zero seven, which you know I, I've talked about in the past as being a level of resistance. And so far it is indeed still acting as that level of resistance. The good news is, is the price is sitting right there at that level. So assuming there's no gap downs or anything, the price is gonna be uh, immediately able to resume its battle with that level going into uh, the Thursday. So uh, definitely if you're sitting there saying, hey, I, I think a breakout could happen, I would say that's more than a logical thought. Whereas if the price was down here at triple zero one and you're sitting here saying, hey, I think a breakout of triple zero seven is gonna happen. At that point, I'd say, all right, that's not impossible, but I don't know if that's really logical to be talking about right now. But in this situation, yeah, that's more than logical to, to question and think that a, a breakout of triple zero seven could occur. So in the event that does happen, the next key overall level of resistance to keep an eye on, I'm just gonna bring this level down for now, would be right up there at, 0011, so 0007, 0011, next couple areas of resistance going forward. All in all though, no doubt about it, interesting uh, dynamics going on right now, and like I said, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, but when a lot of eyeballs are watching wondering the same thing, things can get pretty exciting, so we'll see how this all plays out on Thursday. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.